So we are all here today for the information session for the 2024 Jane Wong Fellowship in Dance. Happy to see your names and have you here. Um, the agenda for today is we're going is uh, sharing a little bit about A4 and our mission, the fellowship itself, eligibility, application criteria, selection criteria, timeline, and then we'll have time for Q&A. And like I said, you can drop questions in the chat um, or you can come off, um, off mute and share them verbally. Uh, and we will, we are recording and we'll be posting this on YouTube, our YouTube channel. And we will also be sharing the slides as a PDF. So all this information, you don't have to memorize. Um, it'll be available to you after the call. Okay, so let's get right into it. A4, we are a 40-year-old nonprofit organization that is dedicated to ensuring greater representation equity and opportunities for Asian American artists and cultural groups. And that includes dance artists like yourselves. Oop, trying to go to the next slide. The fellowship, uh, the Jaden Wong Fellowship is for emerging a Asian American dancer choreographers who seek to make an impact on the Asian American community and for the development of new or existing work. The components of the award are, well, this is an eight month fellowship from May to December of this year. Uh, the fellow will receive $7,500 in unrestricted cash award, career coaching, artistic mentorship, presentation of your work with technical support, and other introductions and opportunities as they come up. And that includes fun invites to our Lunar New Year party, our um, fall gala. So it's, it's yeah, like once you uh, become a fellow, you're a part of the A4 family. Okay, a little into the timeline of the fellowship. Uh, career coaching runs from May to July. Artistic mentorship from July to September. The public program, uh, may happen between October and December. And all along the way, you have access to me and our team um, for any questions and we'll have you know regular check-ins. Um, and in terms of the career coaches and artistic mentorship, we help uh, make that connection to the career coaches and the artistic mentors. And you do have some say for the artistic mentor on who you're interested in working with. Okay. The application, it is available online via a platform called JotForm. You do have the ability to save your progress, which is really nifty. Uh, deadline is Monday, March 25th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. And the selection is made by an independent review panel of dancers, choreographers, um, leading dancers and choreographers in New York City. Okay, let's get into eligibility. So the keywords here are, we are looking for applicants who identify as emerging or early, early in their career and have at least two years of experience of presented dance, be of Asian descent, a dancer choreo and choreographer and show outstanding promise. And then the actual kind of nitty gritty eligibility requirements are more concrete are that the applicant must be of Asian heritage. And that, that includes uh, these different regions and ethnicities listed here. And you may also identify as multi-regional or multi-racial. Be, uh, be 30 years of age or younger. So that starting um, the fellowship period, which is May, so born May 1st, 1994 or later. Not be currently enrolled as a full-time or part-time student in a degree granting program during the fellowship period, again, which is May through December. Be a resident of New York City across the five boroughs. Be currently living in the US and primarily based in New York City during the fellowship period. 
and be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, U.S. resident alien, or non-resident alien with an ITIN. Okay, so that's all the eligibility. Now let's get into the application. The application components, this is just an overview of the different sections of the application. Personal, we ask for personal, basic information, demographic information, supplementary, which includes letter of recommendation, resume, and headshot, uh, a series of narrative questions, and space for you to share your work samples. So I'll go through each of these sections. Um, personal information, this is what you would expect, your name, pronouns, birth date, email, phone number, so that we can reach you, uh, your residence, um, can someone from the A4 team let Rachel in, please? Thank you. Um, address of residence. Again, you must reside in one of the five boroughs of New York City. And then we also uh, ask for your borough of residence, so it's just easy for us to, to reference. Demographic information, that includes gender identity, sexual identity, uh, disability and ethnicity. And for all of these questions, you can respond that you prefer not to answer. That's perfectly fine. This just helps us ensure that we are reaching a diverse uh, group of folks with our application. Uh, supplementary information. So this information just helps us get a better idea of who, who you are and your, and your experience. Uh, the resume uh, should be uploaded as a PDF, headshot as a JPEG or PNG, and then the letter of recommendation uh, also as a PDF. Uh, we'd love a letter from an educator or dance professional who is familiar with your work, and we just need one letter. Uh, and then it's also optional for you to share your website and Instagram handle. Okay, so the narrative questions this is uh, where you know you'll probably be spending most of your time. Um, first, the artistic statement. You will be describing your uh, unique artistic approach to performance and choreography. You have a max of 300 words. And then we have an optional question where you can state um, or you can describe the influences, legacies, or, and or heritage, heritages in your artistic work. For example, modern, Western, classical, Indonesian, et cetera. Um, this question is not required, but it will help um, give our reviewers some context and a better understanding of your work. The next narrative question is around your professional growth. We would love to learn about um, where you are in your career as a dance artist in New York City, sharing key moments and learnings from your career so far. Uh, we would also like to hear um, what your upcoming goals are and how this fellowship will really help you achieve those goals. And lastly, in this section, um, we would love to know more about, uh, you know, what you have in mind for this existing or new body of work that you really wanna develop during the fellowship. Next, community impact which is also very important and, and quite unique to this fellowship, is um, a statement on how you hope to impact the Asian American artistic community through your work. Uh, I believe Annika is trying to enter, if someone from the staff could um, let Annika in, thank you. And then we have a question around um, how you plan to use the cash grant of $7,500. Um, I mean, you really, it's unrestricted, but it's helpful to get a sense for how you plan to use it and may also, you know, help you think through too um, what would be most valuable. And then work samples. This is also a very important um, part of the application. Um, we give space for three video work samples demonstrating your best performance and choreography within the past four years. So you will have to share one performance sample that's required 
one choreography sample required. And then lastly, the third sample can be either performance, it can be performance and or choreography. So all three samples are required. Um, each sample should not be more, no more than four minutes in length. Um, please indicate the timestamp range of the segment to be viewed. For example, you know, one minute, 23 seconds to one twenty-seven, or write complete if the segment is four minutes or shorter. Um, and if your video requires a passcode, um, we will have a, a field where you can um, input the passcode for viewing. Uh, if you are showing group work, we ask you to include instructions um, describing like to identify yourself within the group. Um, okay. So that is, ooh, sorry, so that was all. I mean, it's a lot, but it is, a, you know, it's quite comprehensive. Um, but, you know, this is a really great um, opportunity. And so we do really want to get to know you. Um, the application deadline is again, Monday, March 25th at 11.59 PM Eastern. I highly recommend setting a reminder or even a calendar event uh, so that you, um, you have this deadline on your calendar. Uh, and again, you will be submitting online via JOT form. You have the link here. Okay, selection criteria. We are a little more than halfway through um, this presentation. So thanks for your patience. Um, the selection criteria, we are looking at four um, pieces of criteria, artistic merit, development of new or existing work, community impact, and potential for growth. And I'm gonna get into each of these. Okay, so this is, these are actually questions that we share with our review panelists, and this is what's guiding them as they're reviewing applications. Okay. Artistic merit. Does the application demonstrate technical skill in their chosen style and dedication to the art form of dance? Do the work samples clearly demonstrate a high level of performance quality or expression? Does the applicant demonstrate a clarity of vision to their approach of dance that is reflected in the narrative work samples and proposed project? Development of new or existing work. Does the work to be created through the support of the fellowship demonstrate a unique creative quality? Does the development of this work serve as an important next step in their career? Community impact. How does the artist hope to impact the Asian American arts community as a whole? Has the artist demonstrated promise or prior leadership in the field or in the community? Potential for growth. Why is this award meaningful to the candidate? How will the fellowship help the applicant pursue their future ambitions and goals? Will it make us and will it make a substantial difference? And does the applicant show commitment to fulfilling their professional development? Oh, okay. So that is, those are the selection criteria and some of the questions that are guiding a review panelists as they're um, reviewing your application. Uh, namely, your narrative questions, your work samples, and, uh, you know, they may also reference your website or your your resume to, to better understand um, who you are. Okay. And so we also wanted to share a few tips. These are tips that will hopefully be helpful um, for any application that you might um, be pursuing. Uh, first... You want to review all eligibility criteria to make sure that you meet all the qualifying factors. Uh, that's very important uh, because we do, uh, once you receive all the applications, we do an initial eligibility screening. And, you know, you know, we have to, we're strict on those. So if you don't qualify, we have to remove you from the pool. So please double check to make sure you qualify. Second tip clear written statements, write concisely and with clear, simple language, avoid complicated jargon and define your terms. If you're using um, terminology, uh, write with confidence instead of I seek to, or I would like to write, I am. Okay, holistic application. So we um, are looking for, uh, you know, narrative questions, work samples and a proposed project that are aligned. 
Uh, and then also your work samples are very important in this application. Um, please choose samples that best reflect your artistic vision um, and, and that demonstrate that you are equipped to execute your proposed project and ensure that your videos of work are in focus and not pixelated. And we have found that music videos tend to be uh, less effective. Okay, so those are our tips. Next, we have timeline, and then we're gonna get into questions. Uh, timeline, public announcement of the open call, we made that last week. The virtual information session is happening right now. You're all here. Uh, we are giving you, you know, about a month to uh, complete your, your applications. The submissions are due again, March 25th, a Monday. Uh, we will be reviewing applications between, you know, the, the deadline and through Mar March and April. We will be notifying folks um, of our decision uh, April 30th. And then we'll be making the public announcement soon after on May 9th. That's the timeline. And that is it. Our presentation. I am going to actually, oh, well, I should mention that if you have any questions after this info session, you are free to email me directly at my email, jlee at aaartsalliance.org. Um, or you could also give me a call at my office line. Um, definitely here to, to help support you as you work on your application. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And now we can take questions. Any questions? I have some staff members here that can also will also be helping answer. Evan? I had a question. Uh, thanks for the presentation also. Um, I was wondering in terms of the, um, the project proposal, I know it says new or existing projects. Um, if I have multiple ongoing in various stages of development, I was just wondering, I don't know if there's, I guess, given the format of the fellowship or just in general, if there's a preference for something earlier in development or kind of maybe with, um, you know, a little farther along. That's up to you. There is no preference our, on our end, but something to be aware, aware of is the fellowship is eight months long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have, uh, we, our hope is that our fellow will have something to present, um, by the end of the year, by December. So if I would choose something that you think, you know, could benefit from, from that timeline. Yeah. Lisa, Great. I don't have an, if you have anything else to add to that. No, I don't think so. Um, you know, the only thing is um, you want to be thoughtful about considering this from a uh, reviewer's perspective. Sorry, let me come on camera here. So I'm not talking from the cloud. Um, so I think, you know, people want to see uh, evidence, I think, that you are dedicating yourself to um, a work that you care about that will be carried through and worked on and supported through this fellowship. So if you have like a whole bunch of different things that you're working on, um, I mean, I think that's great, but you may not want to focus on that too much because it may seem scattered and that you're not, you know, focusing on a specific project. So just try to keep it in balance. Great, thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Anyone else? Oh, okay. So I, I did see a question from Christine who was previously here and was asking if the age requirement is is strict and it is, yeah, you must be 30 years or younger, fortunately. Um, Justin, Annika, any questions? Um, I have one. Uh, my birthday is April 30th, 1994. It's like one day off. I don't know if that's like- Oh, are you turning 31 or 30? No, I'm 29 now. I'm gonna be 30 oh. in two months. Oh, that's okay. okay. You just have to be, yeah. Oh, I wonder if I have, yeah, you just have to be 30 or younger. If you were turning 31, right. you know, 
Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, so you you totally qualify. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And then Annika. Yes. Hello. Um, in terms of the the cash award, I don't know if I missed this in the presentation, but um, do you, do we need to like plan how that would be used at all prior to? Not in detail, but we okay. do have a question where we ask how you plan to use it. So I think if you just kind of give a general idea and then obviously there's flexibility once you start the program, you may see that there are shifts and how you want to use the cash. So yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, and also I think just, you know, be honest about like if you need it to pay your rent so that you can make work, that's totally understandable. Like all of the people that are evaluating the applications, the panelists, they're all working professionals. They all know what it's like. They've been there. So you, you don't have to come up with something that you think sounds good. Like just, just tell us that it's not a big part of the, how your application will be um, rated. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Annika. And then Rachel, I saw you left and came back. Do you have a question for us? Okay, can't hear you. If you do have a question, you can drop in the chat or you can also follow up by email. Um, we've recorded this whole session, so we'll post it on YouTube, like I said, and then we'll also, um, oh, oh, sorry, so Rachel's Wi-Fi isn't great. That's okay, we'll, we'll send the recording to all who registered and we will also be sending the slides so you can reference them. I think that's it. Yeah, we just wanted to say thank you all for showing up, asking your questions, and we're really, you know, looking forward to reviewing your applications. We won't be reviewing them, but we're excited to be a part of that process. Um, yeah. And as I said, any questions you have afterwards, feel free to email me. Okay, great. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Annika, Justin, Rachel. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.